Hey everyone, welcome back to Star Wars Hunter. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today. We're going to be doing a guide on how to play as Aaron Tall, the Mandalorian Hunter. Now, Aaron Tall is a damage hunter, and he's also ranged instead of melee. Um, however, he's better at sort of a medium distance. He's not long range like Diago. Uh, he's got three active abilities. He has his death pack boost which essentially it's a way to dash forward across the map. Um, you can either cover distance, or if you collide with an enemy, you can actually deal them some damage and knock them back. Um, you can also use this strategically to knock people off of ledges. However, you should be careful in doing this because you can also knock yourself off the ledge. His Tau Breath ability is it's a simple little flamethrower um you shoot it out little area before you take some damage um it does have an added benefit of reducing the cooldown on your weapons when they are venting so you can use it after your weapons overheat if need be and then his air assault is essentially you hold down on the jump button and it'll show an area where he will land and he'll leap in the air and he'll land down and he'll basically blast everyone around him back, knocking him back and dealing some damage. It also is able, you can shoot while jumping through the air using this ability. So that is something to keep in mind. Um, and then as far as his ultimate, uh, he is someone who can be taken out and killed while doing his ultimate. But effectively, you leap up and you float around in the air with your flamethrower basically blasting all around in front of you. And you can do you can do a complete team wipe with this ultimate. It's a pretty nice ultimate. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into a couple matches. We're going to play casual, not doing anything ranked. Um, and really... We're not going to focus too much necessarily on winning. Obviously, you want to win. But we're gonna, just going to try to use his abilities as much as we can. Um, at good, um, good positions, just so that we can get, you know, some use out of them and figure out how they work. We're going to be doing a squad brawl. So, yeah. Like I said, you want to win, but if, if we lose, because we're focused more on just trying to show how he works... It's not a big deal because it's casual, won't hurt anyone's brain. Okay. Now I've played on Vader's Castle very little because it's the newest map, so I'm still learning how this map is laid out, so bear with me. I'm gonna want to watch out for the auto. Obviously. So, a useful thing you can do is you can dash ahead. These. You can get towards ultimates by dashing. And let's try our jump. So obviously Aaron Tall is someone who, if you get surrounded, he's not got like the greatest health, but uh, lag. He's not got the greatest health, so it is easy. Nope, okay, overshot that. So that right there was a situation of me not knowing the map, for which I apologize. Let's see if there's everyone. So let's try this jump again. Knock people back and flamethrower. Dash out of the way. So yeah, I often like to use it just to get around the. Uh, but use it. So, okay, I was tempted to use my dash ability there to not send them off the ledge. 
didn't quite work out because I was killed, but that is... Let's grab this. And honestly, the recharge is pretty, pretty fast on this dash. Okay, so right there you can see I took Amara out of her. That was risky, but... Okay. So, our ultimate is ready. We're gonna wanna get up, and you're gonna... I guess that's a good place to use. Okay. Nope. Bad place. Right there, Diago took us out. So, as you can see, that's a little bit what the ultimate looks like, and you can see how you can be taken out of it. Honestly, pretty easy. Very... Nope. I'm sorry for the bad gameplay, guys. I'd like to have it a little bit of a closer game. Diago is terrifying. Nope. Okay. So. Alright, we'll try this again. We'll try We'll try getting another match. See if we can do a little bit better. Just basically kind of wanting to go over, like I said, not so much winning, but how he plays. As you can see, he is, he's straight up, his whole thing is damage. He's not going to be um necessarily bulking up his health or anything, or taking a lot of hits. Uh, he, he's kind of fragile, honestly. Um, but he's got a lot of versatility. Like, I find that he's very much a strategic character. His abilities all mesh together really nicely for damage, mobility, and even being able to get out of the situation. So on power control, it's tricky, but I often, to, because he's got his dash ability, I like to try and get to the B section quickly. Okay, so as you can see right there, I just did the dash forward into Grimes. Oh, hi, Scora. Nope. Nope. Okay. That's fine. I messed up my... Okay. Yeah, that, that didn't go too well. But, I was just trying to keep them from taking over the spot. Okay, so, right there, honestly, they soaked up a ton of damage on the top of Scora. But you can see, you see how long that ability can last. And honestly, how useful it can be. Okay, also, I, I was able to get... Okay. So right there, you saw I could get out of the game. Yeah, I think we're gonna go to the other. 
Okay, as you saw, I can lock the door inside. Hey. Big B. Okay. So he can... He's decent for holding objectives. But... I'll take out the spell, please. Not, not much I can do in that situation. Okay, we got this one. We need to go capture another. Let's try this again. That work? Man, that's so beautiful. Nope. Nope. Really? It is often better when you're backed up. If you're on your own against the sun. Although that's true for pretty much any hunter. Honestly, with any hunter, this kind of goes for them. If you're on your own against multiple, you're kind of... Maybe a sentinel might be able to... Dang. Okay, however, we've won the map, but... I think that kind of shows, overall, you want to get in there, you want to get to the fight, preferably you want to be with a teammate, but you can totally get out of a situation with your dash away. You've got your flamethrower, it can deal damage actually to multiple people in front of you. And you've got your jump, which I often forget to utilize. You should often use your jump. It's often very useful on power control or dynamic control because everyone groups up in one spot. You just leap down and blast them away. Same with his ultimate. His ultimate is very good for that because everyone tends to group up and you can hit everyone with your attacks and abilities. Um, overall, you got to keep an eye on the match, the flow of the match. Make sure you're using his abilities. You can see. I was messing up by not using all of his abilities in the last match. It could have made things even easier for us. But yeah, honestly, just he's a fun character. You should try him out. And just any any hunter is fun, and any hunter can be played well or poorly. Um, honestly, as long as you're having fun, all in all, that's what matters. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means so much to me. I hope you liked it. Please leave a like. If you're interested in this channel, please subscribe. It really helps a lot. And, uh, yeah, there'll be more videos like this soon to come. Um, have a good day, everyone, and I'll see you next time.